Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We're gonna load RWB Ava and send her back to Elite Project Motorsports because we're leaking oil. We're gonna do a few updates today. Lots of things to do, lots of car shops to visit. We're gonna show you also the 458 needs new tires. I wonder if the tow truck is here. So Ava has been spewing oil right there and we wiped it down already. So I gotta load it on a tow truck and see what's happening. And we finally have Archangel home. Later, we're gonna get RWB Noah and we need some new tires for the 458. I see some belts there. Do you guys see the belts? The other side is much worse. And I've been wondering how long these tires were gonna last. On the outside, it still looks like we got some thread, but good thing I checked the inside for safety. Hopefully this isn't a big issue. If you guys follow the last vlog, we installed the Dundon intake and that was when we introduced Trollo to the vlog. But when we got the car back, I did a quick test drive and after the test drive, it was parked and then my driver who was cleaning it said basically it was leaking oil in the passenger side. We can't quite see where it's coming from because it's underneath the diffuser. So rather than do it myself because uh, Carpon doesn't do any mechanical work. This Jansen did touch it last and there was this weird flat spot when I'm in third gear at about 2000 rpm I could feel a lag and it's kind of weird because we're supposed to have ample amounts of power on all parts of the rev range. So as you can see it's leaking even on the flatbed and that is definitely oil. It's not warm so I don't know if it's engine oil but it it looks clear, it's not pink, so it's not power steering fluid. Curious to know what it is. My diffuser is so wonky. It's like angled in so many different ways. But there she goes. Hopefully we get it back soon. Thank you to the ever reliable camel toe for towing all my shit. I'm gonna take a quick shower and get ready and we're gonna go grab RWB Noah, which is her first maiden voyage after all the major repairs. RWB Noah has been dead since carport racing and I had to send it to Alfredo and Garage Studio D3 to get it redone. The motor actually blew up again, which meant it needed to get a rebuilt and then we had so many kinks with electrical issues, mechanical issues, but finally the car's running, except we're having issues with the ABS because I converted to a six-speed gearbox. So more on that later. Just to give you guys a brief background, RWB Noah was built about five years ago and it was in my second car shop. And we built RWB Noah on a 964 chassis and the 964 chassis was actually kind of old and the engine was buttering already. So when I had the chance to rebuild the engine into a 3.8 liter engine, I quickly jumped at the chance and sent the engine down to a 2233. But in between, we wanted to convert RWB Noah from a C4, which is mean a four wheel drive system to a C2. And just that time I upgraded the transmission mission from RWB Vicky and we took out the G50 six-speed gearbox and then we put it into RWB Noah knowing that it'll be a much better car this way. I ended up doing that conversion but then the pandemic hit and then the car shop closed and I moved the car to garage 2233 and then when they had the car we had rewired the oil system the wrong way and we basically burned the cams, the shims, the valve and uh, a lot of the headwork was done and also the bearing so we had to rebuild the engine again and after rebuilding the engine the car started experiencing some electrical issues and then from the electrical issues it basically was hand in hand until we got it running china from profab spent so much time with me five months ago we uploaded the tuning video and showing you guys that the car is finally running it sounds amazing with a custom titanium exhaust and today they were saying that the car is finished so today is the maiden voyage to actually just use it as a car and finally bring it back on the road and it's been so long like i haven't driven this car in so long i'm sure there's still a few finishing touches that we need to do to the car but in essence the last time we did use it we were able to make it from phil invest back to manila makati and then uh, we basically drove it around even more and we ended up destroying the transmission support because the air suspension was having issues and i was playing with the ride height and basically i snagged onto a manhole cover we thought there wasn't any major damage but when we put it up on the lifter, the whole transmission support basically had cracked and flipped over. It was pretty intense. But again, now everything is done. Hopefully there's just minor things that we need to sort out with this car. And I'm so excited to bring it back on the road. Just bring it back to car mates because I haven't had this car on the road in so long. I'm sure the wheels and tires of this car are expired already and I need to change the tires. But for now, we're going to be safe just puttering around Sydney. Hello, hello, RWB Noah, and 
Vicky's right here. So just in case you guys are wondering, Vicky is waiting for a coilover suspension. Olin's Philippines has been kind enough to give us a great rate for an Olin suspension kit. And we're gonna be upgrading Vicky to coilovers. And then Manta over there getting final checks on the air suspension. But today is about Noah. Ooh, shifter's been fixed. Almost didn't start. We gotta warm up this engine, we got some fuel, but we gotta stop for some gas also. Nothing like an old school rumble. Let's move it out so that we can uh, warm it up properly and not smoke out everyone in here. Okay, door lock, question mark. Let's check the air pressure with our Fitment app. So RWB Noah right there. And I guess that's her right height. Let's find out. I think Kyle set this for me. So a lot of the things that we've upgraded with this was the air conditioning. We went with the electric AC. And then we went with the Rassant ITV system, which basically made it even more difficult to put the AC system in. So the problem with the electric AC system, it, it requires such high voltage for idle aircon. And what happens is in traffic, we basically use so much voltage and amps just to get the electric compressor to work. And because of that, yeah, it sucks up so much juice. And temperature looks warm, brakes feel good. Yeah, I'm so happy this car is running. Just to give you guys a brief background, RWB Noah was named after my first pet with Joey, who was a lab wiler. It's a mix between a Labrador and a rod Parlor. and uh, Noah was very memorable to us and he passed away due to old age already and because obviously we don't want to reuse his name and I wanted to remember him forever which is why when I built this car I named it after Noah because he was such a lovely dog and really one of our favorite dogs to play with and just be a companion with and we miss him greatly so being able to reuse his name and transform him into a uh, car project was something I really, really loved. And this is the outcome of Noah. And I'm gonna do a build biology on Noah also so that we can go through all the modifications. This car has been through so many things and we still have way more mods to go. We have to trim the shifter housing because it's hitting when I shift the second. But so far the aircon's cold, temperature looks solid. Um, it's just the ABS we need to sort out, but maybe I should upgrade to a Bosch Motorsport ABS system, although it's super expensive. But everything feels solid so far. <laughs> Needs a retune. We're experiencing some misfires. There's a sound here, it sounds like loose chain. There, I don't know if you hear that. But we're almost at Raleigh's now and excited to explain to you guys what's happening with the GT2 RS. So, one full lap. And here we are. This is Raleigh. Raleigh, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Right? Raleigh is Porsche Carrera Cup, authentic. The real deal. And this is his shop, full set of motorsports. And he does race cars. Our 55 race car is here. What are the super secret projects mo today? This is super secret project. What is this? Evo? Uh, no, uh, it's PI. Ah. Uh, after we build the Balsa. Oh wow, 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 wow. It looks like a jump pack. Pa rin, ah. I think you need to do pedal, pedal box. box. Kasi ma intimidate yung layout ng roll cage. Do you think bangga the yes. booster dun sa... Kasi gagawin natin exactly ng GT3 na cup car. But yung cup car sequential gearbox eh. Oh, pero Shock gagawin na natin ganun siya. Para meron tayong pattern na roll cage. Wait, kailangan natin mag sequential gearbox na rin? Bakit hindi? Hindi tapos yung pag ganyan. Ah. Nakamaan talaga siya. But ito meron ito rito. Ito meron na akong Lexan nito. So ito yung problema oh. Hindi nila na pasok kasi yung bracing daw nito, biyak. So there's a crack right there. We have a crack underneath the pulley right about there. And then there's a crack also on the other side. This is the old style old of... Old style. So kailangan ko pang dugtungin yan. Kailangan kong... So yan. they want... Oh, kasi I know the new stitches yes. are one inch, one inch na eh. Yeah. Wala na tong tuldok-tuldok mm. style. So if you guys 
didn't know stitch welding or seam welding the chassis allows the chassis to be much stiffer so that when you're cornering you don't have any fleck and it keeps the body square on the ground and uh, we're talking about it now if we're going to seam weld the GT2 RS but first I guess the order of business is to send my staff here to strip the car down and then after stripping the car down we need to order some parts Raleigh suggests we do the pedal box so that we can get the brake booster out of the way so that we can get the roll, roll cage tubing to go across and then we're going to remove the interior so we can sell the titanium roll cage and then uh, we gotta inspect the engine there's a crack on the block side already no yeah and i think have to check the chassis if there is the uh, damage on the damage chassis or, you know came from accident oh my god much bigger problems than we thought so later on we're going to change the wheels also just going to go to 18s and then we have the steel brakes from dundon we have all the gt2 rs club sport arms new exhaust straight pipe from klein inconel that one is a catalyst system ready we have a new lexan rear window and then the whole body we're going to cut out and strip out so nothing's going to be left with the original body except for the roof everything changed front bumper front fender hood door side skirts rear quarter rear trunk rear bumper rear diffuser everything's going to be modified we're doing the roll cage for sure we have to pull up the hook oh well, nakaglue lang naman yan di ba yeah. hindi naman welded yan katulad ng mga steel yeah. roof so i'm sure because this is a carbon roof it's just glued in somewhere and we'll remove that so that they we can we can weld on top and that's going to be the key ingredient for this build Poor glass. This is my second glass actually. Because I bumped it here, right? I bumped it here on the right, and then now I bumped it here on the left. It's balanced now. <laughs> That's why I decided na going ko ng race car. Because both sides na duro ko na, and I was like, for me to feel safe pushing it harder pa yeah, on track, right. I gotta do it. And I think when we put the slicks, kahit mabigat yung turbo system, I think kaya niya for time attack lang eh. It's not naman we're doing 15 laps eh. Yeah. I just need five good laps to make basag everyone's hopes and dreams. <laughs> you guys are wondering why the endurance miatas here Rolly is doing new cams so that we can get a better tune more power from the car we actually lightened it also so Steven had the, gave us the blessings to remove all the carpeting the aircon system the radio even the airbag from the dashboard that's all been gone and we're stripping the car down even further Rolly is going to do the task of removing the sound deadening under install the new cams and hopefully with all these mods we can achieve greatness and dominate the whole series okay my plan on okay so we'll keep Let's in do it we'll keep in touch and yeah if you guys need any fabrication needs Raleigh sir guy corner weight balance basic suspension alignment he does but if you need professional racing setup the yeah. yeah. full setup yeah. motorsport we're, we're talking about racing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> only motorsports not stunts <laughs> Iba, ibang breed si Raleigh. thank you Ross. thank you so much we'll talk to you soon and we're gonna go gonna make our way to Ferrari because we are signing for a very very special car I'm so excited I don't know if I can share with you guys yet what car this is but... I also have to inspect the 458 Speciale because the exhaust mounts are broken and then the sway bar links had to be replaced the titanium exhaust is so raspy I love it Whoa. The red line also seems to be much lower. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, yeah. Something about the old school feel I love. So the temperature goes down when we're moving. Makes sense. We're here now in Ferrari Elsa and sadly they're moving. Velocita will no longer be here. This will be a motorbike shop if I'm not mistaken. And we're gonna be moving down to Connecticut. Okay, first things first. We're gonna get an update with what's happening with the 430 because this car's been here for so long. I'm not complaining. They're taking care of it. A lot of the small things that needs to be fixed, they're sorting out and it's almost done. As you can see, everything's been assembled already. And we're changing even down to the insulation foam because the insulation foam was super old and the glue that was holding it wasn't that strong anymore, which meant it might like come off and go on the headers and burn. So just for safety, we wanted to get that done and tucked 
here in the corner is my 458 Speciale and this has been test driven. According to them, the sound has been removed and I'm actually quite curious to drive it myself. There's finally cars in your showroom. There's this Pista. So Ferrari pre-approves and does like a 200 point inspection. You guys can buy some certified units and a beautiful 48 Pista here. Wow, this is a 458 Speciale Aperta. Aperta meaning it's the spider version. That's limited. That's a gorgeous car. And we have two F8 Tributos. One F8 Tributo over here, and another F8 Tributo over here. So when they're pre-approved, the cars can get enrolled into the extended warranty program. And this car, along with this car, along with those two other cars are certified by the dealership. So you guys can come here and rest assured that when you buy a car, it is certified and you guys can roll out with confidence. so nice to see some units in here. Normally when we come here, there's nothing. But I won't bore you guys anymore with what's here in the showroom. I'm gonna talk to Lawrence and see what I need to sign. Where's Lawrence? There you are, hello. To the configuration room. Oh my God, you can see my car. Oh, I might as well shoot this. Let's go. Japheth is telling me certain things. Oh, it's closed. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. I'm with Javi now. We're gonna go have lunch. See you guys soon.